All right, hello and welcome to That's The Point. This is the place where we talk about all the stuff in construction and positioning technology. My name is Corey Meyer, joined by my cohort, Jeremy Horn. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? I am good because if you're here, it means that I don't have much to do today because <laughs> we're going to jump and that means we're going to do a dive into FieldLink. And um, today we're actually going to talk about something that comes up quite often, not only in the desk, but actually in the field during trainings and stuff like that. And this is something that's near and dear to your heart. And it's about managing what you see in FieldLink on the tablet while you're doing layout. And so obviously it's we're using CAD files, we're using Revit, so we're using layers, um, but managing that in a field can really make the difference between having an easy to use kind of quick interface or something that really bogs down if you've got some crazy files. And we know that we get lots of crazy files in the field these days. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, so today we're gonna talk about just a little bit of layer management, but also then we're gonna jump a step further into view management and how you can kind of save some of those. But You've got, a, you've got a regular file here. This yep. looks like every other file I've ever seen in, in FieldLink. Um, and let's talk about how you might be able to clean that up and make that a little more efficient for someone to use the layout with. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, we've got a CAD file here that's showing a little bit of everything. Parking lot, light poles, stairwells, everything. So, perfect example where a plumber, whoever, is given this file but doesn't necessarily need everything in it. Um, or it's just so big and and has so much in it that not only does he not need to see it, but it's actually slowing him down right. because the tablet, it becomes laggy. It is a mobile computer. Like, it yeah. does have limitations. Right. So we can definitely manage those things. Um, and we'll also touch on points because having too many points all in one layer, having to view a thousand points can do the same and make it laggy as well. Uh, so let's look at the bottom right of the screen where our eye icon is. If we pull that ribbon out, we'll see our layers icon, the second one from the left. Click on that, it's going to bring up a list. So this list is every layer that is built into this file as it came in. Um, we can scroll down here and just look through this list. And, yeah, that tracks with reality. <laughs> yeah, yes. And we can turn these on and off uh, right here just by scrolling down. But also, we'll sometimes going through the list is hard to tell what we're looking at. I mean, sometimes I've seen layer names with dollar signs and all kinds of crazy stuff. So we actually, to make that easier, we can go right into the file and tap on an entity in the file and it'll actually then highlight it in the list. Okay. So by doing that, if you see, I just highlighted that ductwork there so it came up uh, MSA2S round. I then can uncheck that and boom, it goes away. Cool. So very simple, go through, I can just select, turn things on and off. But what if I only wanted to see that layer? Yeah, glad you asked. <laughs> so if I now tap on that, it's highlighted up at the top, we have a deselect all. And if I hit that, it's going to deselect everything except for what I had highlighted. Okay. So now you'll see everything is gone except the ductwork. Now, I'll show you something with this that actually is pretty handy that we do in a lot of trainings to show, uh, to, especially at the beginning of a project. So let's unhighlight that. And in this case, I'm going to actually just highlight my grid lines. Right. And then I want to turn on my points too. So my points in this case are on layer zero. But then I'm going to deselect everything else. So now we'll see what I have is my grid lines and control points. Oh, wow. Makes it much easier to go set up because we know when we first get to a job site, you know, we don't need to be zooming in and, and dialing into all this other mess. It's I've literally got, everything you need. Right, correct. And then you touched on earlier when we were talking, I can save this so that I can quickly come back to it. So when I come back next day, I don't have to turn on and off. So if we look at the top right there of the list, there's a little funnel with a plus. If I tap on that, I can uh, save this layer view, give it a name, so I'm going to call it control, since this is uh, you know, what I would use for setting up my control. And now if you look at the top of my layers there, I have a control view that then can be turned on and off on its own. And that's persistent, because now you can go, you could do any other selection with the layers you wanted, but mm -hmm. you'll always have that option yep. to go back to that. Yep, so if I unselect that, um, you know, turn everything else on, you know, go to work, say I want to lay out, you know, I'm laying out light fixtures, whatever it may be, but then the next day I'm going to set up again. Well, I want to turn all that off, just turn on my control, and then boom, there's my control. Powerful. Yep. Look at that. Absolutely. Yeah, and the other thing, like we talked about too, that can slow you down is the points. So if you see right there in the list, right in this case, my points are only on layer zero. But if I have a thousand points, whether you want to split up by floor, by six inch, four inch, whatever it is, put them in different layers and turn those on and off. That way, one, you're not visually seeing a bunch of ants on the screen, right. but also 
it will speed your fi- it'll speed field link up as you're using it. Yep, exactly. And that's a great point is just keeping that keeping that view managed so that you're only getting the data that you absolutely have to have. Yep. yep. So that's great. And of course, if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to your local building permit representative. They are there to help. And don't forget, smash that subscribe button and stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks, and pointers. Jeremy, thanks. Yeah. You did all the work again. <laughs> it's good to have you back. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.